yeah. no, it's it's going to be fun to look back on. And I'm speaking from I'm speaking from experience as I'm putting on my manifesto, my body of work. I've been doing that for the past three days, no sleep, getting out on my on my clog. I'm going. I can't help but notice the yeah. videos. Right. And I and I look at myself in the past three years, what has happened, and how much I'm like. I'm an expert now compared to then. How like it's un you've learned in the, on the journey. Yeah, you know? I've learned on the journey through the cuts and the scrapes and the bruises, and yeah. and I'm and like, us. You're yeah. helping. Oh yeah. Think. Oh yeah. You guys are gonna have the, you guys are gonna have all of it. Yeah. You get, if you want a Ferrari, you can get a Ferrari. Like I'm saying. Yeah. You you you'll be able to have what I have. You can do what you want with it. But I have what I want. I can. I have everything I need in life. Everything. I can get anything I need. That's, that is such an amazing thing for you to be able to say. It's mind blowing, guys. Yeah. To be I able mean, to. Yeah. That. That. Most that, people can never say that in their lifetime, ever. I know. I was watching The Family Man the other day on TV uh, on Netflix. If you never saw it, Nicolas Cage. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, I'm I'm Jack Campbell. I feel like Jack Campbell. I took the road less traveled, the yeah. single route. Yeah, it, it was Crazy. cool. It's cool because there's a scene in. Well, that's how it happens. He the angel comes and sees him and goes. He goes. He goes. What do you need, Jack? He's like, I have everything I need. He goes. Are you <laughs> sure? Are you sure about that? And he gives him a glimpse of the family life, and he wants to escape. Remember? <laughs> yep. <laughs> that would be me, like totally me. But like, it's just out. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, it's it's so. Uh, I want I want that for you guys, and I, it will happen because you're following my path, and I'm Absolutely. gonna warn, and I'm I can warn you about the pitfalls that you're gonna suffer yes. as I, as we build these relationships, like as you roll out your first webinars, I'm going to I'm going to get you guys to do them on my show first, because you're going to get seasoned. I didn't before I did my first webinar. I went on others like with audiences. When you wow. go on a webinar with an audience and you see the numbers, yeah. you're, it's a little different. You're like, yeah. well, okay, <laughs> it's a little different now. Yes. And so you're gonna get in the groove. You're gonna, you're gonna, I, I, I will teach you well. I will teach everybody well. It's, it's just know. gonna get better. Yep. You've well, us what what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna build uh, the Molly and Mike uh, mastermind to some numbers as well. We want hey guys, a substantial you, audience that we're able to help like with exactly what we're doing today. Hey, you, know, you know, if anybody that's listened to you learn something. Absolutely. My my uh my <clears throat> my ability to spread my wings, I guess you can say, it it, uh, it comes from being on a platform. Yeah, I think, yeah, I, I, I get what you're saying. Like I, I, I learned on the platform that like you guys are saying your show, the, the Mike and Molly, Molly and Mike show, <laughs> whatever. Like for me, it, it's, it can't, it's like a spin off from being involved in something. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's, and with, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be a fun ride. It's going to yeah. be a fun ride. I'm, and, I'm, we're not going anywhere. <laughs> I, I'm gonna take. You, yeah, don't worry. Don't worry about that. Uh, as far as a uh, leader, a little piece of leader advice, if you if you want, if you would like a little want, piece. I want. Yeah. People are gonna come and go in your business, and there you have to let them go. You just have to keep focusing on your goal because some of your most passionate people. But take my word for this. I've been. I know this. I've, been, I've built teams for a while, a, a long enough time. Some of your, I'm talking about you guys, your passionate people, you're going to be like, I'm so excited to go on this journey with these people. And then life is going to prop more than likely happen. Things are either not going to happen fast enough. The number one thing is shiny object syndrome. Oh yeah. That, there's always objects everywhere, especially in our business. Heck, I've got objects. Look, well, you, you know what I, you know what I'm talking about, Molly. That's yeah. a shiny object. Thank <laughs> God I can, thank God I could build a funnel and let it roll. But it's still, it's like 
people, shiny objects come all the time with fast promises that it's not your fault as a leader. If people leave, it's not your fault. It, you have to know that. It's either their own issues or they're not getting quick results. Some may come back, some may not. When I started in this journey, Mike knows, you know where I started. I started in a system. You know the system, right, Mike? Without naming it? I know what it is, too, and I won't name it. Yeah. Okay, without naming it, because there's no point in naming it anymore. No. But, no. but when I... When I started there, I started with a bunch of people all when I was L, L0, all the same group of people. And we're all, we were all like, let's do this. Let's go to L2. Let's go to L3. And we were all locking arms. You know how many of those people are still doing the thing? Zero. I'm the only one. Some dropped out when I hit L2, L3. Then I just kept going. And then there was a couple more when I was around L4. Then a couple of them went on their own. Let me think. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I could think of one, maybe two other people that, that started when I started. The ones that are the ones that you guys know of were already yeah. there. They're at the, they're at the same spot I was when I started. They haven't moved. But oh. but for the people that we we started together at that at, right at the beginning, there's only one I could think of. It's Vitali Dubinin. You know Vitaly? I, no, no. Okay, well, all that to say that I had so many people locking arms with me and we're saying, we're gonna do this. We're going to get cut. We're going to get bruised. We're gonna have to do cold calls. We're, and they just, boom, Drop boom. They, so, same with Brandon University. Some of my most motivated people, they're, they're just floating away. But here's what makes you a good leader, guys. You have to detach yourself from that. It's not you, it's not your fault. It's going to happen. And if you can just keep going, like I love you guys, okay? You guys are freaking awesome. But if you guys choose interest somewhere else, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna, <laughs> it's not gonna affect my sleep. I love you guys. I will talk, right. if you wanna talk to me, I'll talk to you. We'll talk. and. If you need to figure something you out, you still do exactly what you're doing today. Yeah, I'm go, I'm go, I'm going there. You, got you know, it's like who's coming with me? You're invited to come, but I don't need you. It's not that I don't need you. It's like for yourself, anyway. for for yourself, guys, Molly and Mike. That mentality of you're going there no matter what. I mean, That's how you get there. Yeah, even in people say accountability this, accountability partners this. Same with weight loss. Every time I did an accountability thing with we lost, a, we ended up cheating together. <laughs> it's like, right. It's, <laughs> but we have we have an asset too, Mark, in that you will never be the company that's standing there saying, "Don't quit giving that away." You know, don't do that so much. Do <laughs> I know. I love it. I love it. <clears throat> You're not going to tell me I can't do something else along with this, or you know, I, I mean, you're the guy that's done all that yourself. You know it. I love it. And you know what else I love? I love when people use. I'm looking around like I'm going to get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fact that you guys can literally use the name Brandon University in any group. You could use the logos. You could use whatever. Like you don't keep anything proprietary whatsoever. How fun. Enjoy guys. Like I said in a previous webinar a long time ago, if you're doing something that's out of place and I think it's just bad news, it won't <laughs> I'm not going to sick a lawyer. Like, I don't, that, this, what the hell is that? Yeah. I, mean, I got lawyers sick after me. I'm like, why don't you just freaking call me and tell me to stop? Yeah. Yeah. Conversation. Yeah. 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 So, but I mean, I, 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 I'm honored when people do that. Use, I, I'm not worried about, here's the problem with a lot of companies. They're concerned that <clears throat> people think the groups are the company. Like some people have branding university masterminds and all kinds of stuff. There's about, there's a half dozen that I've seen. And a lot of people coming in 
think that that's our those are our our groups wow but but they're groups powered by our people you guys have some i think i've seen some out there we're yeah. actually turning loose a uh, a coaching page this weekend yeah Turn it. with jenny kells yeah you do it? you're making one Molly yeah and, Jenny and i are gonna do one <clears throat> see so so like if i were to do that in other places which i have i mean every mlm i join <clears throat> i go it's the like when i was with lavelle thrive i don't care i can say it i'm not with them anymore when i was with them i would create like the lavelle thrive getting started group let's get you going on the right foot i use their logo and everything bringing in members all the time just off the web just people requesting to go in a group. I recruit, I recruit like 10 or 20 of them a night in a Zoom. I'm building your business. Then the companies go, they think you're Lavelle, you gotta take it down. They think I'm the company. Right. I don't care if you guys do that. If they think you're the company, fine. So do, do, do what you want. So That's it's like- Awesome that you, that, you're, that you feel that way. Yeah, I mean, there will come a point where we will have our own coaching programs. We will, we will. we're going to have to. Once, yeah. once Branding University is in place and, there, and we have a solid getting started training, you can, a lot of people are doing it. Well, we will have an official one. Now, here's, here's what's important. It doesn't matter what you guys do. You keep doing what you're doing. However, the official one will be people who have to go through a battery of training with us to get to train that because our, our, our coaches, our certified coaches are going to be getting paid big money by us. Well, obviously, it's, we're, branding university coaches are not going to be cheap, obviously. But if someone wants to call themselves a branding university coach, that's fine. You know what I mean? It's yeah. just not the official one. I love that. I love that freedom. Just to yeah. use, awesome. use and abuse us. Well, and at this time, while you're buried in your grind, uh, anybody that we help to figure something out is a, is a PM that you don't get. Is a what? Is a, is a PM in Facebook that you don't get or a, or a shot into your uh, into your branding university group online that uh, you don't have to answer. Yeah, I know. Well, it's, you know, you're, you're busy. You've got a couple of things going on, and, and uh, yeah, well, you know, they get the answer, but they don't have to harass you. That's a good thing. Yeah, I don't I don't answer anymore. And here's the thing: the support yeah. the support angle. It's something I'm trying to figure out. I'm going I will get it. We will solve it with time, but right now it's just, it's, it's a challenge. The main thing will be getting, getting life in that group. I think I found a way to do it uh, this weekend to get life in the official group. Oh. Because get life in the official group, number one, and number two, get new people plugged into that group and welcomed properly and invited properly so that Every time someone comes in, they're welcomed, they're loved, support's popping there. Because once that starts happening, that's how we find ma magical superstars. And that's where support becomes free, right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly how it is. Yeah. Group. I think a lot of that is duplication. I mean, the, the questions are the same from somebody new tomorrow as somebody knew two weeks ago, for the most part. Yeah. When you've yeah. answered them once in the group already, you can point them to the answer instead of go through teaching. Well, yeah. that, that's, what the, that's, what the FA, that's what the FAQ page is supposed to become. Right. Yeah. We're, we're learning as we go. Nobody's going to the FAQ page. People that are asking me questions are so clearly answered in the FAQ. I look at them. I dissect them. I'm like, okay, what? And then when people ask me to jump through hoops, I say, now is it to return the favor to me because I just took half an hour to, well, I don't say those words, but I basically, you see me do it sometimes. I go, now that I've taken the time out of my schedule to solve this for you, in return, would you please let me know where 
in the FAQ that you got confused so that we can fix that and make it more streamlined. Uh, which part did you not understand the answer? And then they don't reply? Because they, so they, they never read them. They never read them. And they made me jump through hoops when I'm trying to build something to help everybody. Right. Yeah, it's not. I'm not impressed. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. I think instead of jumping through the hoops, the answer needs to be, you know, section uh, section B, question three on the FAQ. Is when, where I, your answer. When, when I respond, when I respond in the group, I point guide and direct. I, I, put, I give them the FAQ. You don't give them the answer. You give them the path to it. Yeah. So yeah. next time they can go look themselves and learn yeah. the answer without even asking the question. Yeah. yeah. I'm not. I'm not. Just like I'm building this university with all the hiccups in the beginning and everything, if I don't build the foundation properly, we're we're done. We're done before we start. We, yeah. Like I mean, this whole system upgrade is a big big deal and the free affiliates all the the point we're at now even though we haven't launched has been a grueling amount of figuring out to get it the foundation laid down so yeah. same with our same with our support foundation if we don't figure out how to get it self sustaining early in the game and we're always help we're a support desk we can't grow. We're going to suffocate ourselves when we hit a hundred thousand uh, people. Yep. So, so I'm enjoying the. I'm enjoying. I'm, I'm understanding the the slow. What seems slow to you guys is not slow, to what's happening in the back. Like the sit program it all and make it happen physically. Yeah. Guys, like the affiliates functions, everything working in perfect harmony in the back yeah. is like, it's really friggin' awesome what we've accomplished, me and Larry and I in the back. So <laughs> now August 20th is kind of like that day where we go, boop, we push the button and we hope the thing doesn't break. It's not going to break. <laughs> oh, it's not, it's not going to break. No. That's, why, that's why when Carol says uh, when Carol says something uh, we were joking about a bug, I go there are no bugs. I told them <laughs> there. <laughs> no, <you> go. <laughs> no, but it's uh, it's exciting. Hey guys, yeah. how are we doing? I we, we probably ought to wrap it up. Huh? <laughs> it's awesome though. How, how how have we been on for an hour? Yeah, a little bit more than that. Um, Two and a half. Yeah, we might we might have to put this one out. <laughs> <laughs> typical, typical. Hey, what do you expect, right? I knew that going in. I loved every minute of it. Uh, yeah, the only, part that, do it. the only part that surprised me, Mark, you were on time. Was I? Yeah, I did not. That's that's a rarity. I, I you, Molly ahead of time. Mark won't be there till fifteen minutes after anyway. I'm always on time. <laughs> but I would. But you had a you had a blank room for a while, didn't you? For a minute there. For a minute. <laughs> I messaged him at, uh, I think it was 428. I said, I have to pee and I need to brush my hair. I look like a monster. And he's like, we're all good. So there you go. I was drinking and just got out of the shower. So it's all good. You guys, <laughs> no, no, awesome. Thank you. You guys, were, you guys were awesome. You guys were awesome. I you think guys, you were in, awesome. In our, in our mission, though, the free value, I think we've uh, pumped out of time today. Oh, for there's, uh, I think so there's, much. Thank you, Mark. Yeah, I didn't even yes. notice. Thank oh. you. Well, I just pause to plug in and listen for some folks. And it's, it, it, how is it for you, Mark? Is it a little different having uh, yeah. actual questions and stuff? Usually you just got to jump on there and run your own gums the whole two hours. <laughs> Which isn't hard. Um, no, I, 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 gotta, I, I get quizzed sometimes, but I don't know. It's, it, it was fine. I don't even know the problem. The problem is I don't know if I answer the question a lot of times. No, the, I think you answer the question good. and then yeah. you embellish, which is great. I love yeah. it. That's why I was like, when you, you started, started, you yielded so a person could get a question in. Hmm. I mean, well, you were well, willing to listen to a question and then answer it. 
appreciate that. Uh, awesome. yeah. You're welcome. That's got to be I, hard when you're used to not being alone. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I just kind of do my own thing, eh? Most of the time. Well, I like to, I like uh, when you say I shouldn't do this. That's my favorite time because that's when you get the most <laughs> most authentic. You know what I mean? Oh, we're get, we're gonna get authentic next week after Sunday. Good. Well, I I like to dig into your soul. Uh oh. <laughs> The things, the things you don't know about me, I got to tell you. Hey, you know what, Mark? The things that we don't know about each other, everybody has skeletons in their closets. Just the oh, way. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. I'm yeah. just, a, I'm, I'm just. You know, a, I have to ask you a question I asked Don, too. Uh, yeah. Uh, and, and the two of you and, and about three other people that I've known through the years, some of which I still know that hit the managed to actually hit the total bottom and and came out so freaking motivated and so focused uh it has that has something to do with it it has to um Absolutely. having been down i mean when you come up you come you not only come up but you don't hit 60 grand a year and say okay i can live off this screw it i'm gonna lay back <clears throat> uh, you keep going uh, when I hit my bottom, I, I don't know if it okay. my Well, my bottom was my real, my real bottom was actually not back then. I've gone lower than that. I've, I've had a, a, I've had more, a more bottom bottom than anyone will ever know of. And it was on February of last year. <laughs> it's pretty recent. Okay. Stop drinking, obviously. It led to the stop drinking, which... When, when people know that I stopped everything, including alcohol, which I, I used to adore. <laughs> like, I mean, it was my favorite thing. So just to be able to stop just like that, people must be wondering, because people are like, do you go to AA? I'm like, nope, I'm done. Just they're like, did you, it's they're like did, you, did you get any help? I'm like, nope, I'm done. I'm just, I'm a non-drinker now. Are you, you ever going to drink again? Yeah, I'm yeah just you just knew it. Yeah. So Good people people are like, well, what happened? I'm like, that I will not share. <laughs> so there's, <laughs> there's different types of wake-up calls, I guess you could say. Yeah. There's, there's, there's rock things that are sacred, you know? You just oh, don't, yeah. There are. Yeah, yeah like r rock bottoms are, are, are kind of wake-up calls sometimes, eh? Like They if they aren't, then you're going to repeat it until you yeah. wake up, or you never wake yeah. up. Or you keep going down. Like but I don't think you could have done what you're doing, what you're in the process of doing now. Had he not without, gone through without it. Without having made that turn. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of things that made me, <clears throat> there's a lot of things that make us stronger, and that's not just cliche. Like, no, that is not cliche. That is true. And I we know are because I joined that freaking website two years before you opened it yeah i was told that you had the vision for a while this isn't a brand new vision no i was looking at that footage because it's on my blog it's going to go up on my blog i had a white v-neck shirt and i'm talking about people who earned an education and you saw it okay you saw it's it. going up it's in my it's in my manifesto my body of work that so was I can look. Ago, buddy and and you had that vision way back then yeah yeah you didn't say anything about it for a year or so if you if you look at where we are now compared to where we'll be in a year, it's just gonna get it's gonna go faster. I think it's unpredict oh, yeah. it's it's, oh, unpre yeah. it's unpredictable though because back then when I had the vision of building something, it was like so far away, like so like an online training system where I could pay people if they bring people, like just the concept of even having an online, even having an online course, how the heck can I do that? Just selling something online. Right. Th three years this ago. Not something affiliate, something you yeah. actually created. Like how do they do it? And when I used to see Steve Jaffe, I saw him on a webinar and I said, how the heck does he do that in front of the camera? This is three. <laughs> this is three years ago, guys. That's Look how quick. Now. I know. That's that not your comfort zone, man. 
Well, just like your webinar would be outside mine today. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, but it's 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 amazing what can happen in a short amount of time. Yeah. So I yes. dare not even imagine what can happen in the next three years. Yeah. It's ex it's so exciting to think about. <laughs> it is. M Molly, Molly, I was running around in circles like I took. I had nobody, right? You guys have me. You guys have. A, I really had nobody. I, nobody I, right. I, I, did, I couldn't talk to anybody at all. I didn't even know where to look. I, wow. So it was like so freaking lost. And to go from that state, and I don't, I, this thing, you don't understand how terrified this thing made me three years ago. It wasn't even an option. I was like, video is not happening. I'm not, I'm, I'm not doing that. I'm like, in my, to myself, I'm like, I am not recording myself. Not in this lifetime. I'm going to find another way to make money. I'm not doing that. There's no, that's how much I was against it. And look, three years later. Look at you. you know, six things a week minimum, you're, you're out there. Yeah. You're out there yeah. all the time. Yeah. yeah. So, so just this is what i want people to experience and who better to put it out there than the all three been through that breakthrough where you started out doing a live that you were terrified of yeah <laughs> and, you know right molly I mean, oh my God. yeah it, it took were, me. terrified i was were you I'm scared terrified. were you scared molly i was to do I, this? I you know what i was terrified for the almost nine months I th thought about it every day. But what happened was the first moment that I went on, I was totally fine. And it didn't, yeah. I loved it. I loved yeah. it. It was yeah. weird. I don't know why I just didn't do it from the beginning. Yeah. Yeah, it was just I weird. I eight that I totally was nasty. Yeah. And, and maybe the ninth or tenth one, I nailed it. And yeah, that's what I actually titled it when I put it in my YouTube channel. <laughs> nailed it. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I literally nailed my first one. Literally, I did. I just, mm -hmm. I was so proud of myself because yeah. there's not a lot of stuff that, you know, you do that you say, oh, I'm so proud of, but I was proud of that, yeah. that I did that, you know? That's awesome you nailed number one. I did not. I did not. <laughs> for, for me, I still have my moments when I get into uh, I have to remind myself to be myself sometimes. Like even today, like sometimes I'll get into video mode. Like back in the old days, it revisits. I'm like, this Sunday, we have something very special. I'm like, Mark, 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 <laughs> snap out of it. Be you. This <laughs> I catch myself. <laughs> it's it's true. I get back into that fear because my whole life I was a introvert. I mean, I'm a computer programmer. I was in a cubicle. This is my whole life. I yeah. didn't play sports. I didn't do any of that. I don't do that. I didn't do that stuff. So to do this, this is huge for you. Yeah, and now that I do it every day, I'm that new person. But of course, my old the introvert will revisit because I'm wired that way. Like when I right. went to the, when I went to the event with real human beings. I don't know. I, I, I have to. Well, I have. I, I, I put. I, I don't know if I'm an, if I'm an actor or if I put on different personas, maybe because yeah. when I. For, for different situations, I think sometimes we all do, you know? I think I do. Because when I go to meet girls, when I go to meet uh, women, like I have a persona for that, kind of. I'm very good at it, but I put that, <laughs> I am. I am, and it's got nothing to do with my looks, it's just practice. I am. I'm, well, it's probably charisma. <laughs> I, I, just because I've been doing it for, I don't know. I, I but, used to walk up to them on the beach, Mark, with a lit cigarette. <laughs> And say, oh, do you have a light? Uh, oh, oh, crap, I don't need a light, but what's your name anyway? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just, that, that's, for, for me, it's a different persona. The public, the public persona, kind of. Because when I, when I program, when I work, when I work, work, I'm not this guy. I'm like, 
I'm yeah. like focused. Yeah, As I'm, I'm a little unrecognizable when I'm thinking and figuring things out and it doesn't even look like me. Sometimes I'll, I'll have the video camera. Well, I know how I look. I'm pretty, I'm pretty serious when I'm really working. Yeah. So to hop from role to role, just like at the event when I went to speak there not long ago. Yeah. I had to get into that persona, like the anime, the person. I saying there. Yeah, I do. I really huh. understand what you're saying there. You just have to, you know? Huh. Yeah, we, I think we all have different, different uh, hats, even if there's slight yeah. shifts. Yeah, right? yeah, I had a really yes. drunken one one night. How, how about revealing yourself? Uh, seriously smashed drunken one. I decided I was taking a young lady home with me. Uh, I started at the north end of the bar, and that was the question. Are you ready to go home with me yet? <laughs> no? How about your friend? No? Okay, next. <laughs> and I went down the bar until I got a, <laughs> I got, well, finally got her to buy me a drink first. You played, the, you, you played the numbers. <laughs> Only if you drink it yeah. fast. Yeah, we're not going to spend all night on that. <laughs> oh, my God. Are you single? Are you single, Mike? You yeah. are single, eh? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't like you, Mark. I, I think I've been single too long. I'm used to running my own schedule. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just not willing to accept anybody else having a say in that. Hey. I'm lucky where my husband doesn't. He, he, whatever I need to do, he's cool with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, it's it's awesome. I was mar I wasn't married, but I had a girlfriend before. It's freaking awesome. I liked it. Yeah. But I'm not. But I can't do it. I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. It would take somebody like you, God, Molly, where I was able to just do what I want, and they'll fit in where they fit in. And and not many people, not many ladies, want to be that way. You know, you, the first thing they want to do is tell you when you got to be somewhere, and that's. I don't do that. I don't like that. The last thing they get to do. <laughs> you know? I I think people should uh, when you're in any relationship, you need to person to be them and do what they need to do and and then when you do that you definitely love to be together more when you have the time you know yeah i i, I liked it I, I liked it i i've done it you know you you yeah but you, you do still have time right now i don't want I, I i've been there you know when you do things right. once yeah you're done i'm done i did it i've experienced that and i enjoyed right. it and there we go off to the next yeah. thing <laughs> but I told you, yeah. and this is the truth, there will be, maybe not, but there could possibly be just this one person that that can come and that will just, you will know and that will be it. That's just the way it works and you won't be able to help yourself. We'll see. That's, that's right. my answer to That's my answer to that all the time to avoid the debate when it ain't happening. No, I'm not even debating. I'm just saying that I, I think that could possibly happen to you. Anything is possible. Yeah, that's what I mean. One yeah. of the ladies that I have picked who has done very well, uh, I know for a fact that she got that vision of Mark at one point. She what? She got that vision of Mark was, you know, possibly uh, what she was looking for. And, uh, and I think she got over that when she found when reality struck. <laughs> Mark, do you know who that is? Mark. Oh yeah, I, I, I don't. I don't know. I don't. I can't keep track. <laughs> no, I'll bet. I'll bet. I'll bet he doesn't because she. She never. I don't think she ever actually threw herself at him. Oh my God! I, mean, I, I have actually had proposals already. Wow! I would never throw myself at anybody. No way. I. I. I, I get. It's you. Uh, a little. A little warning, people. <laughs> When you, when you, when you, when a lot of people tune into you, it's just going to happen because of the numbers. That's all it is. Yeah. I'm, no, I'm nobody special, but if there happens to be thousands of females in my audience that are single, thousands, tens of thousands. There's probably one that thinks you're perfect for them. One or a couple of hundred, Mike. Yeah. No, there's no, <laughs> there, there. There is no shortage for that kind of stuff, yeah. but I do it on purpose for the record, for the record. And again, this would happen to anybody who's in any kind. It, 
it's just there's more audience members that's all it is and if you're funny if you're yourself there's bound to be some that just like you it's just right. it's math so right. that's why on my webinars including this one i always say publicly i would never ever do it again because it's a lot of noise eh, guys it's a lot of yeah. distracting noise when people yeah want to talk to you that way it's not yeah. that i'm not a loving person it's that i got a job i want to do right. and i don't want that i don't it's it's, it's time consuming right yeah oh yeah i can't imagine yes. the person that could fit into the spot that i would have for them I just, I, yeah. I just can't imagine there being a person that would fit into the spot that i would have for them well, I'll tell you, if you do have a spot, Mike, if there is, for any male out there, it's not only the females, I'll have you know, for any male watching, if you build a large audience and you are single, you yeah. will have your, there will be some, <laughs> there's a lot of choices, so we'll put it that way. They're everywhere. <laughs> there's a, a lot, lot of, uh, in, oh, a lot of people, I, I have so many different people message me and yeah. I just I, I can't I don't like it I'm not yeah. into it and I it's block. creepy for girls it's creepy it's for so girls creepy. so yeah. creepy yeah for, for us guys for us guys is for someone who's actually single and open to that to the someone who's single and open to maybe meeting someone it's a great industry for a man because the, the women are in your business they're entrepreneurs Right. They're like-minded, tons of stuff in common. Yeah. They look up to you. Yeah. They respect you. They yeah. they know you. They, it's like they look up to you, they respect you, and they know you <laughs> even though you don't know. Even though they don't know, you don't know them. Like some <laughs> some girls will be like, I'm so sorry about that. Nah, 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 nah. I can relate that nah, and nah, nah. big long messages. And I'm like, holy shit. She knows me <laughs> inside out. I, I think she's in love and I don't even know who it is. <laughs> but that's so but that's it's funny it's when, funny. when it started happening i'm like this is like attraction marketing for women I'm attracting, <laughs> but, yeah. but but anybody but, on a platform like that people get crushes on they do you know and the thing is is we're just we're, we're warming up imagine like if we had like if we were influencers real ones oh like, yeah can you imagine what million. they go through with like a real influencer on the web is a movies influencers are movie stars guys the, the yeah. days have changed well you yeah. know what gary v nailed it too and i i have this video still up on my blog mark that's a great video I, this is the best video kind of brought molly and i together molly actually watched it and, and he has which one getting started no this was never put on there by you this one i found on my own what's it called uh, so one, he he's doing a speech at. Uh, oh gosh, I don't yeah. remember the title of it. Uh, he's doing a speech and he's talking about the future. You know that that uh, it was in May of this year. Uh, he's talking about Facebook and Instagram being the 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 void that is there now because the three networks have. 80 billion dollars going into them every day or every year and nobody watches them uh, yes sir. So he's saying that in two to four two to five years that 80 billion in 36 months. <laughs> yeah in two to five years that 80 billions coming online we're not going to be able to buy an ad anymore right yeah but for yeah, that yeah, 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 yeah. we have an opportunity to buy attention there you go, buddy. That's yeah. it, man. We can get, famous now. Now. Get, get famous now. Get famous now. To learn, learn Facebook. And, and if you've done Run. Facebook ads and nobody watched them, it's because your ads are shit. You got to learn how to do them better. Yeah, get uh, out there. Branding. Yeah. Brand your brand your face. We're gonna yeah. do yeah. this. But he's saying two to four years, man. Do it now while you can afford to. Yeah, yeah. they're gonna they will shift over and we're done. The shifts will be screwed, but we'll be yeah. Done. Yeah. until it does, we they don't realize that the market is online. We gotta triple down, baby. 
Yeah. You got to trickle yeah. down. Yeah. That's gotta, why. Yeah. Bill got make on you. He talks about that wine business, Mark. The guy that he said the guy that did his intro pissed him off because he talked the he says he's a dick because he said uh, I laughed at that he said he took his dad's wine business from four million to eight sixty yeah sixty and yeah. Uh, yeah and he said the guy just pissed him off saying that because he knows if he'd have done what he should have done he could have taken it from four to two hundred and fifty yeah. but he hey, was, he didn't go all in hard enough. This is the time, man. This is yeah. it. This it is. is yeah. Co content and library it. Even if you don't have a blog, everybody watching, are we still recording? We are, but I think I cut it off mentally. Uh. <laughs> okay, no, this is all good stuff, though. No, you should keep the whole thing. Keep the whole thing. I want the whole thing. There was okay. a value in Because yeah, there was good. Here, here, here's the thing. What I rec would recommend two years ago compared to what I would recommend one year ago is slightly different compared to what I recommend today is slightly different. I'm, all, I'm learning as I go and times are changing. So anything I would recommend today is start building your own content library, even if you don't have a place to put it, even if you don't have a blog with a, a clog. Just it put it on YouTube. Nothing, it costs nothing to start a YouTube channel. Start a YouTube channel and keep it on your own on your own system too, because there will come a time where you're gonna we're gonna teach you how to do that this year in Brandon University. Nice. You have to. We're gonna have to because yeah, that's so that's such a wake up call, Mike, about the 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 eighty eighty billion coming over. They're yeah. gonna come. It's They're gonna wake yeah. up. Oh, yeah. it's good, but we have the opportunity now to capitalize yeah. like nobody could ever imagine. Guys, guys, I play. I play, right? I have fun with uh, I have fun with ideas. I do uh, I do cold calls a lot to experiment. That's I record them, right? Some of wow. you may have seen some. A lot of them are I still have on my computer, but I find I find shit out by doing cold calls. So wow. when I approach businesses for a social media strategy for their, who's their, who's in charge of their marketing budget, they're all over it. They all want it. They all, they're, they're, the process, the shift is taking place going from TV and newspapers to online and who teaches, who does this? Nobody. There's no job. There's, there's no jobs out there. You can't, right. You can call a lawyer in a phone book, but you can't call someone to have your branding and social media strategy going. No, that's this is exactly us. right. And right. It's going to be the most in demand because of that shift. Yeah. Yes. If, we're, if we're personally branded as marketing and branding experts, we are done, made. Yeah. Exactly. That's what we do. Yeah. yeah. And it's just so exciting. I mean, Gary Vee really... When I listened to that, that's what made me message Mike. I'm like, we have to do something now. Huge. Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna have you're gonna have fun. The 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 most challenging part, do you know what it is? No, no, I won't even say that. You won't say that because I'm gonna help you guys there. Audience. Getting people yeah, to show up. Say, uh, yeah, getting people to show up, yeah. Webinars with nobody or demoralizing sometimes. Yes. I did a live without a single set of eyes for like eight minutes and it made me want to cry. It made me, I know. It made me want to just shut the freaking thing off and walk away. <laughs> you <laughs> because you're like, you're talking to yourself. Like, when I see like Steve, I think Steve Krivdor or sometimes you'll have L5s there, big leaders that are doing the live and it's like one, zero, or none, one. And they're they're teaching with all this passion, and you can see it in their eyes. They can't, they can't, they can't do it. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah that hurt, man. That was painful. <laughs> yeah. You know what I did though? When I got that son of a bitch done, I did a Mark Lalonde, and I sing, syndicated the living dog shit out of it, and I yeah. got me fifteen hundred views before I was done. Yeah. There you go. You views, are, views, are views. I just, yeah. I just put it out there then. Yeah, 
idea. They yeah. wouldn't watch live, damn it, they're going to watch somewhere. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> when I start every live, the, the first thing I say is, hey, if anybody shows up, I'm so happy. If not, I like to talk to myself, so let's go. That's what yeah. I say. <laughs> what, what I do, what I do, actually, I'm rarely ever, ever live. Like, I know. Ever? Never? Know. Like, right. never live? Never. So, well, you were on that one webinar with us, that one Sunday. Oh, Sundays, Sundays I'm there. No, I mean, on for Facebook lives, for Your syndication. Facebook. Okay, okay. okay. Sun, sun, Sundays, I, Sundays, I went back to my roots. Sunday? Yeah, it's every Sunday I'm pretty well. Every Sunday I'm there. Okay. I don't, uh, Sundays I went back to my roots on that because I like to handle questions too a little bit and do a yeah. little shout outs at the beginning. Sometimes it's half and half, like I'll plug in a video, but I'll say I'm plugging in a video or I mix it up a little bit. But yeah. I like to be present, like at least on Sundays. Which I so, think is really important. And you do, you do answer questions and you do give shout outs. Sometimes, yeah. But for lives, I'm never there because I... <laughs> it was, yeah, lives, you're never there. I couldn't bear it. <laughs> Sometimes I'm, I'm, I'm... a real problem making a recording because yeah. you wanted it to be perfect. You know, like with the fire starter thing. You're, you're wanting to pause it and start over because you just screwed up a word or whatever. It sucks. Um, I have gotten so past that. I do a recording now just like I do a live. Yeah, yeah. I, Get yeah. do it if I screw up I just keep going yeah <laughs> I think I think I, I think I revealed too much on this uh, thing no I love it <laughs> yeah. hey hey guys I love you both yeah well, but you well, what, go. do you, what do you say we call it yep we'll Probably call it time. guys two no 4 30 5 30 three hours yeah it's thank time. you Three I hours. Feel, yeah, thank time. you. Three I hours. Feel, you well, know, I feel honored that you did this. Oh, no, I'm honored too, but three hours. Where, where did the time go? I know. That's what I mean. You have so much to share with everybody. You got a lot in here. So do you guys. And, well, and Molly, you love silly, us, silly, silly Molly said yesterday that us talking for like a half hour would probably be like too long. <laughs> no, but uh, that that was three hours that went by like nothing. It feels like it was a half hour. Yeah, yeah. That's because that's because we all get along good, and we love you, Mark. See, thank hey. you. I love you too. Hello. Can Can you imagine if I was to do support calls all day or pick up the phone oh. all day? We no one would get anywhere. No, we never get anything done. Never. Do. For like, all of us. Mike, I have to tell you, when I asked Mark, he says, get in line. And I started to cry because I uh, thought he was being serious. Well, you can't say, you can't do this stuff all the time, guys. You guys either. You wait till you just believe, take, take yeah. my word for it. You will get asked every single day to do something, an interview. Every day. Every single day. I, got, I, said, I said yes three times today to three people today. Oh my God. I said yes. That means I said no a couple more times. I said okay. yes to you guys. I said yes to uh, a status brew for a thing. Uh, for well, they're a big, so they got this status brew uh, software company. And I said yes to David Simpson, which is a network marketing guy for his podcast. That's just today. So, along with those yeses, there's so many no's. And yeah. you feel like an ass because you're saying no. But if you say yes to everything, and I'm a nothing burger, I'm nobody. Like, I yes, really am. No, I mean, for as far as social media goes, I'm nobody. I'm, I'm nothing. I'm like, nobody knows who I am in the real world. I, what? A couple of, okay. Whatever. I'm, I'm get. I'm get. I'm not debating you. No, there are a lot of people that. Yeah, I would like to be as much of a nobody as you are, Mark. <laughs> I'm not okay. I'm not a no. I'm, I'm actually. I'm going to get to be as much of a somebody as you are, but by God, I'm not now. Actually, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to play it humble a little bit there, but it's it's. I, I am pretty. I am pretty famous, actually. I know. <laughs> Stop. Be honest. <laughs> it's just. It, it's so funny because. 
it's it's so funny because you guys don't see it. You guys don't see my actual numbers. Like you guys don't see it. I, I don't. This, I don't reveal any of that stuff. And no, in my no. and in my little Facebook world, I'm like, okay, at least they think I'm just getting a couple of views. It's, I got to keep it small, but it's happening so fast, guys. I know better. I'm not stupid. Yeah, <laughs> but. But it's uh, you had to be our second interview. You had to be. You had to be right in the top because you. We wouldn't be here without you. Well, you. Thank you. I. I would not be here without you. You no. Unquestionably, you know, I've followed him for three years. You're you're the the part of the formula. There's no question. What yeah. you me off, Mark Lalon, is that I probably got into M MLSP the same time you did. Yeah, and I stayed for like six months, didn't make any money, said, screw this, I'm on to something else. I thought you weren't allowed to say that. And then I <clears throat> went through no, it's okay. four no. years of four three three years of shiny objects. That's the that's uh, that's all it is, Mike. You and know, I people learned, I learned from people I like you, I learned from Ray Higdon, I learned from a lot of people. But I yeah. didn't accomplish anything because I was bouncing from one object to the next. Is is the is shiny object guys is such a real thing? Yeah. I mean in net in, in network marketing, I'm the shiny object. No, that's not true. I'm good. I stick. I usually stick, but I'm tempted by a lot of shiny objects a lot. I have to fight it. Yeah. Fit, Actual, actual social media itself is a freaking shiny object. I got to yeah. turn Facebook off. Like yeah. I can't have Facebook open. I'm never on. I can't no. be on because you get involved. You once you once this starts happening and you start scrolling through the feed, you're doomed. You are doomed. <laughs> I built a couple websites. I've got one to build this weekend. And and I've got a couple of business pages to build this weekend. And by God. If I'm on Facebook at the same time, I'll yeah. still have all that to build next weekend. I know. I know. <laughs> you know I, you're right. I got Blinders it. on. Yeah. Blinders, yeah. We need we need our website. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be shut off, and I just got to work on what I'm working on. Yeah. You know, you know, there's so much opportunity that's that comes with this game if if you stay the course. Yeah. As long as you don't lose sight of branding yourself, it, in the equation, it, it, shiny objects are always going to be there. We're multiple income stream people. That's what we do. Right. I will always be open to looking at things. Mm -hmm. And if I can plug a funnel in and make an extra income stream, or if I could do something that helps my brand, then I'll, I'll probably take a look at it, even if it's a bit of a shiny object. So when people come to me and tell me, have something for me to look at, which is every day, I say, and they give me all these money promises, I tell them flat out. I go, money is not what I'm looking for at this moment in time. I am looking to build my audience numbers. Can you help me with that? No, but you can make a lot of money. I go, hey, let me repeat. I'm not looking to make money. It's I'm I'm good. I'm good there. So if there's a shiny object that helps with what I currently need, I may entertain it. Because truth is, there's so much opportunity out there if you are personally branded. If yeah. you have a, it, all comes to everything we talk about comes down to that. I could join a deal on urinal cakes, selling urinal cakes. It's a stupid example, but because I know how to do personal branding and online marketing, because I got those things. I have an audience that's growing every day that knows my face, and I know how to market to them and continue to build that. Because of those two things, any opportunities arise every day. So shiny objects become a lot shinier as you move on. Right. But... But it's long. That was what Vaynerchuk said to his audience. He, you know, it doesn't matter what you're involved in. It he, makes he, no difference what you're involved in. If you do it, you're going to do it. He, here's your. Oh, I was going to share some real gold with you guys. That's right. Of, uh, of 
potty cakes and make your own, make your millions and be happy. Here, here, here's the trick. Here's the trick. Half of your time is spent on creating content and filing it or putting it on YouTube. No money. Don't even think of money. Think of providing quality pieces of content, putting them on your YouTube channel for now. Who knows? Maybe someone will see them. For now, let them sit there. Okay. Half your time and then half your other time, look at other things like recruiting, making money, shiny object, but always work on your brand by creating content. You know what that is, guys? I, I, what that, is, I that's looking. something that nobody's supposed to see. Uh oh Now, I mean, we got to sh save it for August, but it's a content strategy. It's a Ooh. content strategy. I've refined it down to the nitty gritty. Yeah, we can't read it, so you're cool. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's okay, though. You wouldn't know how to use it until I teach I you properly. I certainly wouldn't. Mike might. <laughs> uh, this, guys, this is the formula. I found I found the sweet spot wow. into, into persuading people, not persuading, into getting into people's minds, into wow. getting them to know, like, and trust you, or like right. you, or... Or know you well. That's what that's what Molly and Mike is here for. Mm -hmm. Where yeah. this is free content. This is value. Molly and Mike is cool too. In the course, we might like to uh, do sort of like Ray Higdon does, where he's he's out there trying to improve the quality of the people that are trying to market online. Yeah. You know, and that's and that's kind of our our mission. And and it's not about we're not selling anything on here. Yeah, we're we're just help trying to help people and, and build an audience. Yep. As long as you have something for the at the end, to uh, something to plug people into if they want if they want to. Anyways, when you do a webinar, I'll walk you through it. Okay, if you want. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. That'd be yeah. awesome. Because there's hey. a. Go ahead. No, no. Because a webinar, there's a there's a a road map, if you will, a little okay. bit. And then we have to sell at the end. But your set, your the thing you sell, can just be getting people into Branding University or whatever. The thing yeah. is, free courses and yeah, because the main thing, the thing about a webinar, the way I roll and the way do that, Molly, with a do a Branding University, like we give something away the first half and and the content or the close call to action will be Branding University for. Oh. Yeah, yeah, like you, you could use a, you could, yeah, there, uh, we can come up with a, uh, no, whatever, if you have an idea of a promise and something you deliver on, right? and then the other half you, because once you, once you have a, a call to action and you start stacking bonuses, super easy to do in the university, by the way, bonus stacking. As a matter of fact, we can sell the platinum partnership on your webinar. If you need, if you want me to do an appearance or, because here's, here's the way you do it. Look at Molly, because here's the way you do it. <laughs> Once you have it done, then it's all about getting it on a, uh, um, even if it's once a night, getting it playing all the time. Even yeah. if you have to, even if you have to manually run it. Because in the beginning, if you don't want to get all the big software, <clears throat> you could literally plug it into, uh, heck, however you decide to do it. Yeah. Plug it into a certain place at a certain time, have an invitation page, and make sure it plays at that time. And your only job now, there's two parts to this whole game, by the drive way. Drive traffic, drive traffic. Drive tra promote, yeah. promote. There are always two parts to this game, baby. <laughs> it's creation, content creation, and then you gotta promote. That's a whole other part. When I do a Sunday webinar, like even every even every Sunday, when you see me create all those events, send to my list, put a little ad. That's like half of the time is to create the webinar idea. Even that's most of the time, yeah. the the idea coming up with a webinar idea and getting it ready on paper to to speak on. If I got slides to do, most of the time that takes less time than the whole promotion part, getting people there. Yeah. But, it's exciting though. Yeah, it's a lot, eh? It's, it's, it seems like a lot, but here's the thing. After a while, after doing, it, it's, a, it's a progressive thing, guys. Like, 
you're going to wake up in the morning and it's all about that friggin' DMO, daily method of operation. Once yeah. you wake up in the morning, here was mine for today. This was my DMO for today. You see how those things are crossed off? Yeah. That's how I, that's how I run my day every day. Look, F, FB votes poll. I'm like, how am I going to get the voting for the con video contest? Resourceful. I have no idea how to do that stuff, a voting system. This is how it starts. Th that, then Google and YouTube. And so, yeah. DMO. Once yeah. you have a solid DMO, it's so much fun. Because my, my daily DMO is dynamic. It's always changing. My yeah. DMO is always changing. It's never the same. Do I have daily activities that are exactly the same every day? I don't. My DMO is not like it's a it, different. It's what you want to get done today. Yeah. What you want to get accomplished. Yeah. Today. Yeah. I'm not locked down on one piece of content per day, one live every day. If I got more important stuff, I that's my DMO for the day. Yeah. So yeah. When, when people ask me in interviews, what's your DMO? My answer is always like, what do you mean for today or for yesterday? It's different. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, the key is what maybe you said, staying off of Facebook and yeah. focused on, on the items on that list. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think that would be an interesting topic because you need an overall DMO, like a minimum amount of pieces of content you do every month. A minimum amount of audience members you grow by every month. Oh, which reminds me, I've got this friggin' ninja audience thing I'm doing now. Ninja. Ninja. Oh, I'm sorry. I get, I get so wrapped up in breaking things. In breaking <laughs> things. I do. Yeah. I get obsessed with breaking <laughs> things. Because there's some things I know. Oh, come on. Let's, let's not. Let's not. Let's not kid ourselves. There, there's stuff I know that I don't share, obviously. Exactly. You, you have some sacred stuff. I watch you like a hawk. <laughs> like, I mean, it, I've learned as much watching you like a hawk as, as you've taught me out of your mouth. Uh, well, you, well, you pick up on those things, though. You look at those things. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, yeah. I look for those things. I don't, you I don't look at them. I look for them. Yeah. You do. Yeah. He you does. Do. He's good at it. Yeah, like you, you know, you know, like I pixel everything. You can't even look at if you, if you. I told if you, you about that on the vlog six I months know, ago, buddy. I, <laughs> I know, like if if you if you see me once, you're gonna see me forever. If if anybody <laughs> on this planet sees me once, nice to meet you. We're gonna get to know each other a lot more for the rest of your life now. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you can't you can't see me and not see me forever. I, I wish yeah. I could pixel a uh, maybe not the personal one, but a business page and the freaking YouTube channel too. YouTube is re has retargeting. You know? Do you think? I, oh, I yeah. got to get into that. I got to. Yeah, get it's powerful stuff, but people you don't get me into that, Mike. People I, don't I know what's into that. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, you know what I do, Mark? You know, yep. my, uh, my new friend greeting, LinkedIn, Facebook, when I do some, I friend somebody or they do me, I have a, a minute and seven second uh, personal greeting video that I send them. On LinkedIn? LinkedIn, Facebook, anywhere. No way. And it just happens to, of course, come off of my YouTube channel, so they, you know, a percentage of them are going to end up there and maybe look around <laughs> genius it's genius i'm stealing that go for it my go turn to steal it. that's genius I that's genius you. i owe you one um <laughs> did, like, uh, who, to make sure i get that too who, 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 did, who did you learn that from i thought of it in my very own self beautiful beautiful Beautiful. Let's do a training and spell it. Sent me maybe like a business card or something as a greeting. And what are you saying? Your what? What are you saying? A little video. What are you uh, saying? Your video. Just uh, great to meet you. Like to uh, like to get to know you better. Learn about what you do, and and uh, you know maybe mm -hmm. I can show you some of what I do, and we can help each other some. And and is it a is it a link to your YouTube? It's off. A, it's a it's a YouTube link. And does, does it show up as a video in the message? 
Yeah. Or is it just, yeah. does it look like a spam I link? The, no, I put the YouTube link in. It shows up as a video and it says uh, person, my personal greeting or something. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. And I get responses. People tell me, man, that's awesome. I love that. I, I wonder if you... anybody tell me that sucks. I wish you wouldn't have sent it. Yeah. Now they may think that if now and then, but but the responses I get are that's awesome. I love it. Would it be cool? It would be cooler if you if it did, if it said their name every time too. Eh? That'd be like one level up. Yeah. Oh my God. How the hell to do that economic time economically? No, but I can do it. I can do it where when I speak. Here's what I can do. Just to level it up. When I film the video, at the part where I would say their name, I would move my lips like this. I would say, well, I'd make it look so it would look mumble. And then what I'd do is I'd plug in a speech, a uh, uh, text recognition software somehow with my voice tone. So it's automated. Wouldn't that be crazy? That would be too much. Here's the computer. That would be so cool, though. It would be cool. Here's the computer yeah. programmer talking that, that is. Yeah, because I can. Yeah, that's cool. No, be, because imagine like an auto responder, except it's a video of you. Pick, see the way my mouth is like this? You can't really see what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. And then if it just said, and it text read, and it could read Mike or Molly, it would say, nice to be your friend, Molly, and just like that. And it would say Molly in my voice. Yeah. And it would just know. And it was all automated. We, you know, That's just me good thinking. Good but ideas that on that one because I didn't know I could retarget YouTube either, and I'm gonna get after that. It's a little different, but it's the same idea. You use categories and stuff. Yeah. But the the, the voice thing is cool. Yeah. Automation. The thing yeah. is, the thing is that sounds that sounds out of this world. Like, how the heck could you do that? You can do the. You can program. You can where there's a will, there is a way. Yeah, I, well, I've learned that about you. <laughs> like, like what I, I send voice, I send voice clips on LinkedIn, right? Like, uh, you know, how you send voice on Facebook. Yeah. You can't do it on LinkedIn. You can't. There's, there's no way. Of, you can. Yeah, I programmed a script. I, 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 you wrote I did program. it. Yeah. So, so when I sent it to Don Lachance, he's like, I can't figure it out. I'm like, no, because I programmed this. So I go, everybody, I send a voice clip to on LinkedIn. They're like, how did you do that? Every <laughs> one of them, because it can't be done. So there's always a way if you if you program. Well, it depends, yeah. I guess. Creative yeah. programming. See that that yeah. that kind of technology is beyond me, Molly. I can help you with the stuff I've learned, but I oh, yeah, that's, and, and that, that's beyond over my head. And this is not for the average. This is not for mass use either. This is because a lot of the stuff I got to tweak all the time. Like I've got to. It could be, Mark. You could put yeah. out a freaking software that did that. I, know. I thought about that for yeah. a quicker. Oh, yeah. I thought yeah. I, I thought about that because of the my um my journey to a billion. Like I'm going for a billion dollars, right? I want I want I will be a billionaire, and to get to a billion, it's going to take decades. I know this. I've known this. I, I'm okay with being a gray-haired silver fox billionaire. But if I could shorten that curve, it's going to be by developing an app or by selling something to Instagram or Facebook or LinkedIn, an educational platform. It's possible, but it's not going to be by grinding my way to a billion. That does not happen. It's so going to be one big break. Yeah, it's going to be one. It's going to be a, a buyout on an idea. Is what it's going to be. Yeah, yeah. And, and it could be Branding University, and it could be. And yeah. they have to keep you in because you're the backbone, you're the core. Yeah. yeah. They, well, could, they couldn't buy it and take it over and run it their own sales. No, well, here, here's the thing. If we have 1 million active users, and here's the thing that blows my mind. When Linda sells her thing for over a billion, Linda's an education platform. LinkedIn bought, bought are you tired, Molly? No. We've been, I, we've been on for a while. LinkedIn. I, LinkedIn bought Lynda.com for 1.3 billion or something, 1.6 billion, bill, 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 billion, and there was less than there was like I don't know how many hundred thousand. It was under a million active users, but once you do the math on that, it, it adds up. Like it once LinkedIn 
puts all of their users in that system. Could you imagine if LinkedIn puts in 500 million users into Branding University and they have all their programmers to control it and it could be worth a billion. And, and that billion dollars, that might only be 50 cents a user, which is a hell of a value. Yeah, which whatever the, will know you, you know. And, he, he, here's the thing. Your baby, and it could be sooner than you think. Right, that's the thing. It happens so fast with educational platforms, which is why it's just one. It's just another shot at the billion, right? For me, I, I take a lot. I'm I'm developing apps too. Like I'm taking many shots at that bill, but this, I don't care what they do with it. Just write me that check with a B at the beginning of it. I'm good. <laughs> No, I did. That that's that's. Now you got to take us with you, though. You got to you got to make them. Uh, got to give you a billion. They got to give the platinums a million each. Too. Well, <laughs> I gotta sell. I gotta sell shares, right? I gotta sell shares. Yeah. Yes. Hey guys, if 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 we go when we get to that point, there'll be stock options, of course. Yeah. What? Well, now we're thinking. This is this kind of thinking is normal in my world. I'm like, are you guys getting freaked out? Because I think like that all the time. Oh no, I, I love that kind of okay. thinking. Yeah. 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 Oh, like, I do. Like if, if the way I think makes the average person call me crazy, <laughs> right? We're no, the crazy no, ones. I don't know. I, the only I, ones that change the world. I think mm -hmm. I think we may be a little crazy too, because I don't think either one of us would say that. I think No, no I know. I think we would say visionary. Yeah. Oh god, yeah. How do you guys go? I, I can I ask you guys another question? Sure. How do you go three hours without a pee break? I'm trying to think. I don't even have to go. I don't know. That's unbelievable. I well, can go I gave, eight hours. You gave up on not smoking. Who did? <laughs> I gave up on not smoking oh. while we were on. But <laughs> I could go 12 hours if I had to not pee. I mean, I could go. I could hold it for 12 hours. Well, I'm going to go take my pee break. Let's call it a night because this will be, guys, this is crazy. Yeah, yeah. this is awesome. Thank you. Well, so no, I, and Mark, I, I really can't express how much I appreciate the brain dump. Um, so, you know, it, I, I'm, I, so I love getting in between those ears and seeing what's going on. That's cool. There's, you know. You don't want to see, you don't want to go too deep. Yeah. They, but but I like you. That's all. I love it. That's all stuff that, that we can uh, benefit greatly from. Yes. Yes. You gave uh, so much value, more than you even realized you were going to give. Thank you. Molly? Molly? Thank you, Marquez. Molly, you're going to be a star. <laughs> you're, you're so going... sweet when you say that. Hey, Mike? Me too. That's why she's my partner. She's taking me with her. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mike? Mike, isn't, isn't Molly going to be a star? That's why. That's why she's my partner. I picked her. She's taking me with her. You guys, <laughs> I hope I am. <laughs> you got a power. You got. A, you have a power that you're. You're extremely humble. I hope. I mean, I no, not that I hope. I mean, do you know how good you are, or, or are you? No. Are you playing stupid? Like, do, no. not playing stupid. Are you playing naive? Do you know no, you're? No. Do you? Do you no, know I you're that good? Me. No, I'm just literally being me. I don't even really know what that means when you say that. You're when good. you say you're a star, you're, I'm like, what does that mean? You're good. People from no. a from an outsider looking in, well, outsider looking in, a lot of people talk to me uh, to give me. I get insider info. We'll put it that way. People complain to me. People complain to me about me about other people, about high school fights. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, I get yeah. it all. I get it all. Check yeah. my, you want to know what's going on in the, between all the people? And just open my inbox in the morning. I get it from every angle. Who said this about that? Who they like? Who they dislike? I get it all. Wow. And, and you, my friend, Molly, are one of the most liked people in my, in, that I've seen in a while. People genuinely like you. Like a lot of people, a lot, yeah, just so you know, a lot of people say they like people and then they come to me. Well, huh, my in, my, I could sell my inbox for 
millions, all the info in there. Millions dollars, yeah. I, I, it could be my blackmail job. I, I won't share this if you pay me this. There's so much crap talk, t talking shit about everyone. I'm like, why are you sending me this? Yeah, okay. why? I, I should share it to teach you a I, lesson. I would be disappointed yeah. in myself if I'm not one of the ones they bitch about now, man. Oh, <laughs> well, they bitch about you all the time, Mike. All I the time. I would be disappointed in myself if they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but it's funny because obviously I can't say Don Lachance is a Don Lachance is one of the most. Don Lachance knows it though. Don Lachance is. A lot of us have haters. Just a lot of us are unaware that we have haters. You Which know, is we, better. It's better not to it's better, know. Because who wants to pay what? attention to them anyway? Yeah. It, yeah, it's not. It's, not, it's what they it, think is not our business. It doesn't. They're so yeah. irrelevant. Yeah. But for, but for some mm -hmm. reason, they've chosen me to <laughs> spill it. They've chosen me to just let it out. <laughs> I, I got I got the voicemails upon voicemails about people talking shit about other people, and they confide in me for all that garbage. Why me? That yeah, looks well, like, that's a lot of pressure. <laughs> oh, I don't, I, I don't, I, I don't, I, I don't, I don't acknowledge it. I have a way to read a message. Well, obviously, I, I had to figure this one out quick. I have a way to read a message on Facebook so it doesn't say scene. You know how it says the scene check. I've noticed so, that because you'll come back at, at, with a response now and then that you never saw the message. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I do. I do it when I want to be. I, I I do the scene when I want people to think that I've seen it or know that I've seen it. But uh -huh. but if I want to read the whole thing, you got to scroll up and open it. If you open it in Facebook, the other people can see a little check mark that says "seen." Yeah. I yes, I know that. So I if I. So, I yeah, don't even so, go in there if you don't want them to know. <laughs> yeah, so I can I can disable that, right? So I can I cheat I cheat the system. So I can go in and read the whole thing, and they'll think I haven't seen it because it doesn't Facebook won't pick up. It's a script. It's a, it's a it's a file. It's something you're programmed. So I see a lot of the garbage as unseen because if they know that I've seen it, then I automatically get involved like i'm automatically by you default don't want to be into it yeah right. no but if i but if, want to be into that no but if but if i didn't see it then mark didn't know you know yeah you right. to read it but you don't have to confess to it yeah well yeah and if somebody ever says anything you can just say i don't even i have no idea what you're talking exactly. about exactly exactly but but i gotta admit guys i must admit the little uh the little, uh, I don't know, the guilty pleasure side of me. And I wake up in the morning and I and I grab, make my coffee. I usually yeah. disable all those scene things because I, yeah. I just disable for a period of time. And I go through it all and I giggle. It's kind of funny. <laughs> Wait, well, when you get up every day, I'm always there, right? <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's fun. I get a kick out. I get a kick out of the people. Yes. I get a kick out of the people that will say, "Oh, you talk to Mark. Nobody. I can't ever get an answer." Yeah, I know. I'm thinking, yeah, you're one of those people. That's probably why. <laughs> no, I don't. Mark can't me because I just too persistent. <laughs> no, actually, the truth is, guys, I don't talk to. I don't. I, I don't I talk to anyone anymore. I know. I can't do it. It's, no, we it, don't have time. Nobody. It's not, you yeah. know, well, I mean, you guys, but I don't well, know. It, you, out, people of, are, out of respect for that, Mark, that's why you don't see me in your inbox often. Well, yeah. I, I understand that you're, you're I'm you're, rude. Yeah. Well, <laughs> here, here's another thing. If I talk to you guys publicly like this, yeah. guess what? Guess what? People are gonna start contacting you guys instead of me. They'll go. They talk to Mark all the time. Let's. Oh, you're so bad. Since oh, we can, I think since, that happens already. I it does, eh? Already, yeah. yeah. You can get in touch with Mark. So they're yeah. gonna contact you. Would you tell Mark this? Uh, yeah, I'll get right on it. Go away. <laughs> I just, I just consider you a friend, and I know you're there alone, and I like you, and I just always ch touch base with you. I just can't help it. It's just the way it is. Because you're a superstar, you get special treatment. 
<laughs> here, here, I thought you just liked me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Not at all. Not at all. Not even a little bit. <laughs> Not even a little bit. No. That's okay. No. If I think you do, and you, and that's fine. I don't care. <laughs> hey, 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 Molly. Yes. Is that a tattoo? Yeah, oh, it is. Oh, Dawn. Oh my asked. God! Oh, you gotta hear about it, Mark. Yeah, Dawn, it's, Dawn got this going too. Yeah, it's it. The top ones for my daughter. The bottom ones for my son. Uh, it, my daughter's birth date. My son's birth date. They were both born in, born in February, so they're both um, amethyst. And um, Molly is the strength symbol. Matthew is the truth because that is what they are. That is their strongest um, asset that they carry in their souls. Like, mm. they're, yeah, and they and they keep me accountable in those two things for strength wow. and for truth. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So awesome. It, when I get up, or if, if they're having a challenge or something's going on, and I, I usually talk to both of them every day. Um, but if something's going on, I, I will know it in, because whatever, whatever kid is, is being affected, I, people think I'm crazy, but it's true. They, they will swell up and it will itch and it will bother me and get really hot and red. Mm. And I'll, all and I'll say what's going on and there's it's usually nothing major but something something's happening you know what I mean mm -hmm. it's like an emotional when I got that tattoo it was an emotional thing and it, it's uh I feel emotions in that I, I I feel a lot of gut feelings and stuff like that too so I just think that's just why it does that to me yeah. people think I'm crazy but I don't care <clears throat> no it's you know, he's got meaning to it, so it's more powerful. It, it, it is. I, Do you have any ink? I don't know. No, don't like it. Um, I think it looks cool. Like I put on fake stuff too. Uh, well, like when I go on vacation, I ink up fake. I I often put fake ink on. Yeah, like, cool. Yeah. yeah, just for for different purposes. Yeah. Like when I go to uh. Sometimes when I go to Cuba, when it depends. I went to Cuba last time. I went to Cuba. I got covered in like skull tattoos and I nice. Put it, and I got my I got my ears pierced right from when I was young. So yeah. I had the ears pierced. I grew the full goatee and I had a bandana on like a biker. Oh, that would be awesome! And I have yeah. every I had a axe and I had a skull. So you know what henna is? Henna tattoo? Yeah, I know what henna is. Yep. Pe it peels off and stuff. It peels off, yeah. So yeah. my first day there, I got spent like six hours eating <laughs> ice cream. Henna. Eating ice cream, eating ice cream and drink corona to get fully <laughs> covered in henna. I had an eight ball here. So I looked like <laughs> uh, like totally, totally tattooed out. Bad. And it was like, like it was a like, bad. Well like it attract it attracted the it attracted the bad the girls, women. right? Yeah. The bad ones. The bad ones. No, yeah, actually, I, that usually attracts the good girls. That's true. Too. It attracts them all. Let's face yeah. it; they like the bad yeah. boys. And those my muscular. And, some, yeah, my brother has so much ink, and it's the yeah. coolest. It and is. It, has so it much is. Meaning. I love tattoos. I it love is. anything creative. I love yeah. that stuff. Yeah. yeah. I get, since I quit cutting my hair, I get called uh, Jerry Garcia lookalike by a few people. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I told you you also, hair ponytail. They will also tell me that you look scary. I say, you know why? That's because there's a lot of people I don't want to talk to, and they don't talk to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Garcia, I get it. I see it. I work that angle. I, I like it that way. Yeah, um, absolutely. Yeah. It keeps away the folks that I don't want to be bothered dealing with. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's like when I say I'm... It's it's like yeah I know it's like when I say I'm not the relationship type I'm horrible at that stuff. Truth, yeah, I am horrible at it because this is being recorded. Yeah, I put it out. I put but it I out there that I, I just suck at it. Like I'm the worst at it, just to keep everybody away because it works, right? Nobody yeah. wants to be. Well, you don't want to have to say no two hundred times a month. Yeah, I think that's I, I think that happens regardless, right? Even to married men in general, when any actor, I would imagine, any famous actor, I would imagine, yeah, for sure, 
big gay women, uh, all the, oh my gosh. any, like Hollywood, yeah. even worse in music. Imagine. Yeah, the the roadies for the bands. Yeah, or the. Uh, I would think. Yeah, but but it's yeah. beautiful because now, online celebrities and reality stars, they're they're, they're becoming the new big thing. I they or, really are. We, I, and, yeah. we we can do we can do that we like, we can be rock stars like literally talk in front of huge audiences have oh, people cheer so, our names that have would people, be so cool how sign autographs like take picture people asking to take Woo! pictures with you yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly like what <laughs> <You're> like, what <laughs> autograph like just imagine <laughs> imagine just this motion. Just this motion right here, doing this. Hold on. Well, you've done it yourself, Mark. I've seen a picture of you with Eric Worre. Imagine <laughs> like this. Yeah, he wanted it with me. Imagine doing this book. Uh, yeah, book. that would be How so cool. How cool is that? That's crazy. It's well, going to happen. Gonna, you probably get a cramp in your hand. You'll want to stamp. <laughs> yeah. No, it's going to happen. That's. That's what. That's why we got to double down on branding. Get our stuff out there. Yeah, exactly. I think me and Mike doing this is is gonna be super good for branding university. I do. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's it's gonna be awesome for so many reasons. Reasons. Yep. Like you're gonna you're, <laughs> you're gonna learn stuff that can't be taught. Yes. You're gonna learn things that can't be taught until you do. Like so many lessons I've learned through doing things like that, they're, they're instrumental to my success today. And they're not things I can teach because they're not things I really pick up. They're not, things, they're not things where you go, oh, I just learned that. You just learn them. You yeah. don't know. Th you just, just subconsciously something. learn them. Yes, yes. So you you kind of know how to roll on certain things. And yeah. It's pretty, it's going to be awesome, guys. I know. I'm yeah. happy. I'm it's, excited. Yeah, really. yeah. Seriously, I mean, I, that's my vision, Molly. I, I, VaynerMedia is going to have to make room. <laughs> he, <laughs> said, he said he's going to come in, for an interview with us. <laughs> oh, well, oh, you. We're going to have Gary V on, Mark. We might get him before you do. You I might. <laughs> I you, got you, you know why? <laughs> because I'm not going to have Gary V on. I'm going to be on Gary V. Show. Gary V. That's he'll right. Be, he'll you know be what? interviewing me. Mark my words. My one oh, and yes. only. I'll, yeah. I'll bet you I beat you there. My one and only Facebook ads client has been pictured on his Instagram. They reached out to her this month to do a video for them, and they're working on her business plan. How cool is that? Wow. She is going to, her ass is going to be in that chair across the desk from him, and she's committed already to taking me. No. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't yeah. that crazy? I know. I, I, that will be crazy. I won't, I won't write her a bill. I said, when you hit, when you go public, I want a seat on the board and some stock. Yep. And until, and then, then, until then, I'm cool with working free for you. Um, and hey. then we, we can say we know <clears throat> Mike, okay. who was on. It, 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 isn't it funny how ever, how we look up to Gary Vaynerchuk as like literally a, a celebrity? Like what yeah. I would do, what I would do to have a value video, me and Gary hanging out and doing a value. Video, what I would do for that, and what anybody who who wouldn't? Yeah, who, who wouldn't? Yeah, he so, is cool. I so love ima him. so imagine when you. Molly and you, Mike, are at that level. How about that? You will be. I will. Be. I'm I will be. Yeah, I'll you speak, will be. I'll speak for myself, but I'll be as big as Ty Lopez and Gary Vee. There is so yeah. much room for new celebrities in this space because yes. it's only getting discovered. We're like we're we're the children right now. Okay. Yeah. Maybe yeah. I'm maybe I'm a teenager. They're all the adults. Yeah. But we're, yeah. we're, we're, we're in it. We're in it to win it. So yeah. as more people try to get into this space and it grows and more people want to learn about personal branding, social media marketing, the audience will grow to learn it. They'll need more leaders like the Gary V's and Ty Lopez's. And we're in position. 
and Grant exactly. Cardone's. So yes. we will be that, no doubt about it. And yes. we're gonna we're gonna be like Gary V, Molly. When we get there, we're gonna remember and reach down and help that that couple of people just start their own show. Yes, that yeah. is the. I would so. That is what I would want to do so much. Work on those skills. Read yeah. read crushing it. Assignment number one. Okay, crushing Here, it. Okay. Here's assignment number one. Okay. Not crush it. Crush it's good too, but this one right here. Pop up. Read that. Take that down. Read Crushing that. it, Gary V. Okay. That's assignment number one. Okay. I had to read it three, four times now before I actually got some of the stuff, and I'm like, holy crap. Holy crap, man. Yeah. That one thing is going to change my business. He is a visionary. He sees shit that regular people can't see. He, he's yeah, yeah he, he he's he, he's something else that guy he's yeah. he is he's, there's a thing on his uh facebook i think it was i, I think i saw it like at two o'clock this morning and he was talking he he was being recognized and all these people grabbing after him and people wanting to talk to him and he saw this uh kid i think he was 14 in yeah. distress um up, upset and he left all of that and went over and and took so much time to help this kid because he was yeah. in a bad spot and i i just uh, loved him for that yeah. you know yeah. he, he's just, he was great it, that thing made me cry seriously uh, you should watch it yeah hey guys yeah i got a roll okay yeah hey, mark okay, thank you it. yeah thank, thank you mark, mark. Thank it's you, been mark. so it's been so much fun thank i know you're busy so thank i really mean it from my heart thanks it for was doing awesome it. it was awesome i want the recording okay it's, it's, you Got it. You got it. It's gonna you take you a minute to download it, man, and, and uh, put it out because it's kind of long, and then it'll take a minute to <laughs> upload to YouTube, and then you'll get the link. Yeah. Ready? I'm telling you right now, it's gonna take uh, two hours to download this. Most likely. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. It'll take me a minute to get it there, but the link will be in your messenger. <laughs> take your time, buddy. I got I got other stuff to work on. Hey, I'm sure you won't we, be bored in the meantime, right? <laughs> you got it, brother. Okay, thanks, guys. Thank see, you, you, see you next, Gary V. We'll talk soon, okay, guys? Yes. Totally appreciate it. Yes, I'll, I'll talk to you in the morning. It was fun, yeah. <laughs> bye, Mike. Bye, Molly. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.